Hello all my movie maniacs, thanks for sticking with me as we cover all of these great films that were at the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival 2013. Yes, it's Review of Palooza. And we're going to dive right in today to the two shorts that we have for you. Uh, one of them is called Torturous. Now, this is a story of a, uh, employee, uh, an employment counselor who ends up getting captured by a professional torturer. And just before things start to get gritty, they strike up a conversation and we see how that affects the events that play out. <laughs> this film really leads you in thinking one thing and then takes a completely different turn. It just turns on its heels and I liked that in this case the way it was presented. The chemistry between the two characters, uh, Kevin Kincaid who plays the torturer and Craig Gunn who plays Greg, was fantastic. They rattle off the dialogue from a script written by uh, Craig Gunn as well as uh, Angus Swante who directed this. They rattle off this dialogue very well and have great chemistry, play off each other very well and that comes across the screen which you need for this short film like this. Also it doesn't run too long so its shtick doesn't get tired. It gets in, does its thing, and gets out in plenty of time for you, just enough to be entertained and not grow tired of the uh, hook uh, of the concept that they did in this film. I, I really enjoyed Torturous. It was definitely a different film than what was expected at the beginning couple minutes of it. And if you can get a chance, I, I suggest you definitely try to find this one out at one of the festivals you've got. Now, uh, also what you've got is a Oscuridad. Uh, Oscuridad Blanca, pardon me if I mispronounced that, but basically we get the story from uh, Rodolfo Herrero, who tells us the story, uh, the, the, the Son of God has returned, but maybe not in the form that you expected. This is a zombie tale with a second coming connotations all over it. Yeah, I, I did not expect this at all. Uh, when the film first started, I was like, where are they going with this? And then after about the first few minutes of setup, you, you go, okay, now I see we've got a zombie here. And then it goes a little further. And then there's a point where you go, ah, that's exactly what they're going for. And then it just ramps up from there in the, the, the craziness that happens. Now, those of you who might be a little sensitive religiously may take a little offense to it, uh, but it wasn't... It didn't seem to be done to be uh, offensive. It was just being humorous in the idea of, of a zombie coming back and being uh, the son of God, okay? Uh, but those who may be sensitive may want to avoid this film. Otherwise, uh, definitely look search this film out because it was entertaining, a lot of fun, and didn't go the way I expected it would do. And I, that's what's great about independent horror, especially these horror shorts. They only got a small amount of time to tell you a story and you're never quite sure where that story's gonna go, which is always refreshing. And uh, some of these you could see as big, uh, long, you know, big screen pictures, while other ones, you're glad they're short because it's just amount of time to entertain you and not get too tiring for the concept they're based off of. So, Torturous and Oscuridad Blanca. Definitely try to seek those out. I'll put links down below if I can. And until next time, keep that ticket stuff.